And here we have 5010 Briar Mist. A beautiful two story home in the Cedar Grove subdivision. And it's right next to the community park. As we see, right across this little drainage easement, have the swing set, play scape, plenty enough places to go and walk the dog, and some nice little picnic tables. And it looks like they've done a pretty good job of maintaining the green belt that's directly behind it, which this home, <laughs> we have no one on the right, green belt behind us, and your only neighbor is this guy here. We have a nicely, nicely trimmed live oak in the front. Some nice landscaping. A brick exterior on the front and three sides hardy plank. Now we do have a one car garage. Parking in the front I mean, in the driveway, but luckily being backed up to the drainage easement, there's a little bit more space on the road as well. Now, we have a beautiful front door. This home is four bedrooms, two and a half bath, and just over 1,800 square feet. Really nice light fixtures tile in the downstairs area, a laminate in this little playroom, flex room, could easily be converted into a formal dining room, formal living room, or an office. We have a fairly good sized living room, and the perfect spot for a nice little entertainment system did a really good job on that. To the left here, we have an extremely deep walk-in closet that's really taking advantage of the space underneath the stairwell. All of this is tiled, and we can see where this goes all the way back, and past his gun, gun safe, there's liable to be even more space. Oh, the perfect spot for it. Right here, directly to the left of our front door, we have our powder room. With a nice sink, a beautiful mirror from the back, good light fixtures. Whoop, a lot of child protection. Child safety locks. And looks pretty clean right there. Continue. Nothing directly to the sides. Just beautiful views out the windows. Now, the carpet, while not the newest, looks like we could get it professionally cleaned fairly easy. I did notice there is some slight pet smells. And I'm unsure of whether it's coming from the carpet itself or maybe perhaps the rug. But once they get the furniture out, it's going to lessen quite a bit. But if that was professionally cleaned, it'd be really nice. And here we have a great big breakfast room. Which, as we could see, they have plenty enough room for a large table and some additional furniture. And a small little kid's table. But as you can imagine, if that's not there and you took this table and flipped it this way, you'd have a tremendous amount of space. You could fit a nice formal dining room set in here, which is fantastic. Have a large space for our refrigerator. Beautiful granite countertops with an undermount sink. And they did a really good job with the top backsplash on this one. Not sure if they have a safety lock on this, but can't seem to get the washer open. Have 
standard coil oven. Definitely seen some use. And it looks like our microwave vents recirculating so it doesn't vent out, but that's not a big deal. Wonderful pantry. That extends all the way down, so that's extremely nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and poke our heads out in the garage real quick, shall we? Okay. As we see, in the garage, it's only a one car, but it's nice and deep. See where we'd have a little bit more room in here if they stored their trash cans alongside. But it's absolutely perfect, is probably about 80 to 90 percent of Texans here in San Antonio use it for storage anyway. Our hot water tank looks pretty good, is electric. And luckily, this little pipe sticking out of the wall there, it is pre plumbed for water soft. Both the hoodie door as well. Okay. Backyard looks really nice. Here we can see we have a really nice covered patio. And this video is taken at eh, just about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So the sun is almost directly above us which is nice to have this little covered patio space because it shades this from everything but the morning sun. And even the trees themselves would shade the backyard in the morning sun. But the sun, as it continues to set, is going to set towards the front of the home. So this shade is only going to grow, creating more and more usable space. That's probably why the grass is doing as good as it is. Looks like they have a little bit of zero escaping along the sides. Looks like a new fence along the back. You can see behind us, nothing but green belt. Had we been one house over, you'd share a backyard, half of it, your neighbor along the side. But with this, from here on, nobody. Very desirable location. Very nice spot. You can see they have a small little tool shed. Our AC unit. this real quick. Alongside, looks like we have some extra wood and a few little odds and ends that they'd have to clean out. The Christmas tree and what have you. Need to bring in a little bit of fill dirt. Very nice floor plan downstairs. And we'll continue upstairs. See, there's not really a whole lot of touch up paint or anything that we would need. See where they touched up a spot here? But it's really hard to match up the paint after it's been on the wall for a couple of years. It's an absolutely perfect spot for that cabinet. Now, we have tile in the downstairs area, laminate flooring, and linoleum upstairs in our wet areas. Now, we have our utility room up. We have our drip pan for the washer, nice window to let in some natural light, and additional shelving for storage space. Let's start to the left. 
I mean, <laughs> right? It's one of those things. Again, we have our laminate, our linoleum. Single sink with your standard mirror. <laughs> and child locks on every door. There we go. Let's put that down there. Very practical. We have our linen closet. combination tub and shower, which is one of those plastic inserts. Looks pretty good. Very good shite on the sh uh, very good height on the shower head. And a little half wall separating our commode. And plenty of natural light. If we continue to the left, here we have our first bedroom. As we can see, it's very green, and that looks to be painted right on the walls there. Okay, single window overlooking the backyard. Nice light fixture. It's not. It's uh, possibly blocked for a ceiling fan. I'd have to double check. As we can see, a nice double. Sliding, uh, sliding closet. There we go. Uh, continuing through, we go from our green room to our lavender. Okay. Carpet in all the bedrooms looks to be in pretty good condition. Haven't really noticed too many stains. We do have slight discoloration from the traffic areas, but all things that should be able to come up fairly easy with a professional cleaner. Bedroom here is a fair size. And we have a standard closet. Nothing too bad. Our fourth bedroom Some red and tan. Double sliding closet. And views is open with the playscape. As we continue down, we have our furnace and blower of our HVAC systems. Looks pretty clean. Okay. Some ductwork coming through. Nice little pocket for the storage. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. And finally, we come to the master. Here we can see they have a great big sleigh bed. It's a queen size. But even with the king, you'd have a little bit more space on either end. It's really nice how that fits, fits those windows almost perfectly. Plenty enough room for end tables. Or nightstands, whatever you call them. <laughs> and they still have a couple of larger pieces of furniture in here. Now in this bedroom, they are blocked for a ceiling fan. And finally, we come to the master bath. Nice mirror above, light fixture. And they came in here with granite as well. Tile floors in here. And they did a really good job with the tile on the shower. That one is metal. The other one could have just had a plastic backing, 